Hi friends, our today's topic is profit and loss and this is a sixth video on profit and loss and profit and loss is one of the very important topic for quantitative aptitude or any competitive or government exams as well as placement trainings. So let's understand the question and try to solve it here. So Rehan purchased a bike for 54,000. So what is the cost price of the bike 54,000 rupees, right? Okay. And then he sold it at a pro loss of 8%. So he is selling this as at a loss of 8%. With the same money, he again purchased another bike and sold it at a profit of 10%. So how do we solve it by percentage method is, see his, his cost price is 54,000, right? Okay. And then he is selling the bike or the product at 8% loss. So if it is a loss, then what we do? We subtract it from the 100 and then we write it. If it is a profit, then we add it to 100 and then we write it. So 8% loss. So 100 minus 8 will be what? 92 by 100, right? Okay. And then again, he is selling that at 10% profit. So if it is a profit means 100 plus 10, that means nothing but 110 by 100, right? Now this 20 will take 20 off. 1010 zero, one zero cancel, 1010 one zero, one zero cancel. Now 54 into 11. So if you multiply 54 into 11, we have to write down same thing 5 4 and 5 plus 4 is 9 so it will be 594 into 92 so if we we'll multiply 594 into 92 2 4 is 8 2 into 9 is 18 1 will be in hand 2 into 5 is 10 10 plus 1 is 11 9 into 4 is 36 3 will be in hand 9 into 9 is 81 3 81 plus 3 is 84 so 8 will be in hand 9 into 5 is 45 plus 8 is 53 right okay now 8 8 plus 6 is 14 4 plus 1 5 5 plus 1 will be 6 1 is in hand 3 plus 1 is 4 and 5 4 6 4 8 that means the person will be finally selling the product in 5 4 6 4 8 so what is the profit now the profit will be selling price minus cost price so what is the selling price so 5 4 6 4 8 minus cost price is nothing but 54,000 so the person will be earning how much of amount 648 rupees right now the same question we are going to do it by percentage of change method percentage of change will give you the cumulative change so this will be x plus y plus x y by 100 where x is the first change and y is the second change now if it is there is a profit then we have to write plus value if there is a loss then we have to write minus value right so how do we have to use it see the first time it is 8% loss so 8% loss means minus 8 plus y is there so 10% profit so plus 10 right then again minus of 8 because x is loss into 10 and divide by 100 right now minus of 8 plus 10 will give you 2 2 and this 0 and 0 cancel this minus 8 divided by 10 will be 0.8 and what we will get is 1.2 percentage change so basically you bought it at 54,000 and finally there is a change of 1.2 percent and if it is in plus that means profit so there is a profit of 1.2 percent so if you calculate 1.2 percent so 10 will also come down so 30 will cancel 30 now 54 into 10 so 54 into sorry 12 so 54 into 10 is 540 and 54 into 2 is 8108 so it will be 846 so 648 rupees is the total profit so if you are using percentage change method then there is one line you will be able to solve the question but if you are using the normal procedure then your calculation will be little lengthy but anyway answers you will be getting the same so i will suggest you to please use percentage of change method so that you can solve the question in very less amount of time question number two an article was purchased for rupees 78350. So what was the cost price? Cost price was 78350, right? Its price was marked up by 30%. So basically he wanted to earn a profit of 30%. So he marked, marked up means what? Marked up means the price which is printed or the price which is marked on the product, right? So the cost price was 78350 rupees and he wanted to earn 30% profit. So what he did? He put 30% more price, right? And again, he is giving a discount of 20%. So discount will be always minus, right? Now, we will use the percentage of change formula, the cumulative change formula. 
so it will be x plus y plus x y by 100 right now what is x 30 and 30 is in profit so plus 30 y is minus so minus 20 plus 30 into minus 20 and divide by what 100 right okay 30 minus 20 is 10 and 10 will cancel 10 10 will cancel 10 so minus 6 is equals to 4 percent so the total change will be i mean what they're asking what was the profit percentage on the cost price right so see this is plus four percent plus four percent is nothing but profit and they're asking the percentage of profit itself so directly we have got it plus four percent so answer will be four percent so if you are using the percentage change method then you can solve the questions very fast but if you are using the normal method it will take bit more time to solve it see for the same question if you want to use the normal method then 78350 into it was marked by one thirty percent so 100 plus 30 because it is a profit so 130 divided by 100 and then again it is selling a discount of 20 percent so discount is nothing but kind of loss only so 100 minus 20 percent is nothing but 80 by 100 so your simplification is more here your calculation is more here and that will in turn will take more time and if you use the percentage change method then you will get the answer quickly without doing anything so thanks for watching the video